Take a trick, trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's Big a trick, trivia time. And we'll feel it all right. Okay, come on, let's play. Hello, good evening. Happy Wednesday, everybody. My name is Ali with Baker Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to play some general knowledge trivia tonight. Uh, so before we go any further, let me just tell you if this is your first time playing uh, here on YouTube, you'll hear and you'll see the questions. But in order to actually participate, in order to be able to answer the questions, you won't do that on YouTube. You just need to join the online game, open up any web browser and go to online.bagoftricks.com. Enter in the code TRICKS2. That's T-R-I-C-K-S-2. That's all you have to do. Once you're there, you've entered in that code, it's going to ask you just for two pieces of information like you see here wants to know the name that you want to play with that could be your name or team name and the state that you're playing from if you're here in the united states or let us know what country you're playing from uh, once you've got those two pieces of information in you're good to go there's nothing else you need to do you'll see this the game will begin shortly and that means you're all set i will start the game here in just a couple minutes i still see people joining right now I want to give everybody time to join so i will explain how the game works here just in case uh, it's anybody's first time in just a couple seconds or a couple minutes before that i want to tell you about what we have coming up this week so once again thank you so much for joining my name is holly with bacon tricks entertainment we have events all week for you online um tonight we just did music bingo pink floyd edition with the incredible bobby k i know some of you were there thank you for joining us uh bobby k will be back next wednesday with all dave matthews songs so dave matthews band edition next wednesday don't miss that one uh tomorrow we have general knowledge trivia but before that we have dc and marvel comics movies it's all sorts of dc and marvel trivia at seven o'clock sponsored by the mount prospect library and that is a special one because it's hosted by phoebe a lot of you have played trivia with phoebe whether in person um, in chicago at tapster or here online uh, some of you have done the events whether private or public with phoebe so don't miss that it's free to play it's just sponsored by the mount prospect library so check out the facebook event all the information is on there the links that you'll need uh, that's at seven o'clock that's going to be a fun one and then at nine o'clock that night tomorrow night we'll be doing a general knowledge trivia night but this is a special one this is our donation drawing winners choice trivia night so the individual that i chose this week is john a john a was chosen as our donation drawing winner which means he got to tell me up to 10 categories for tomorrow night's trivia and all of the questions will come from those 10 categories so here are some of the categories you're going to see tomorrow night at nine o'clock, 20th century American literature, Animal Crossing. A lot of you have mentioned that as a category, Animal Crossing, Cats, Geography, Hamilton. Oh, dang, I have to write Hamilton questions. Indie Rock, Schitt's Creek, The Simpsons. Bobby K, if you're out there, there's your Simpsons. Uh, space, as in outer space, and whiskey. Ooh, Cheers, John. Those are good categories. Yeah, I'm almost finished with it. I'm having a lot of fun writing it. Uh, Great so, question, John Jay. What did he say? Cats the animal or cats the musical? Cats. Well, he originally said um, cat. Hold on, because it was actually funny that you asked that. He originally said cat breeds or just cat facts. Uh, so we're going to go with cats, not cats the musical. But maybe I'll slip a Cats the Musical question in for fun. Uh, but anyway, don't miss that. Tomorrow night, free to play. Uh, I believe it's John's birthday too, right? Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Uh, so that'll be a really fun one. Tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. And then on Friday, it's fundraiser Friday, which means we're doing a trivia night to benefit a special organization. This week it is DuPage Pads. We've done a trivia uh, event for them in the past and you guys showed up in force. So please come out again and help us support this incredible organization. That's the only event this week that isn't just free to hop on and play. All you have to do is purchase a ticket ahead of time and then DuPage Pads will actually send you all of the information you need to participate, including the game link and the video link. It won't be open to the public like this one. So check that out. There's a Facebook event for that one as well. Get your ticket ahead of time. They usually shut down the ticket sales before the event, well before. Um, so don't 
miss out, make sure you check that out. Get your tickets so that you can participate. There'll be great prizes. And again, all those funds go directly to DuPage Pads uh, to help with that mission of helping individuals that don't have anywhere to go right now. So check that out. Join us tomorrow and Friday. Uh, but before we do any of that, we're going to play trivia tonight. Shirts are required. Are, no, shirts no, are not no. required. Uh, so I've been forgetting to mention this, but we do accept any donations or tips that you guys would like to send. So like I said, all the events that we put on through Bag of Tricks uh, that are not for a fundraiser or some other organization are free. Tonight's event is free to play, but we do accept any donations you'd like to send down here at the bottom. That helps us pay for the platforms that we do use to host these events for you. We really appreciate it. By no means do you have to. Some of you already have, so I just wanted to say thank you to Allison, to Misha, and to Jeff, who have already sent donations tonight. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Uh, and if you can't support financially, which it, it, it's a crazy time, Don't, there's no expectation, but if you could like our Facebook page, make sure you check out the posts when we post them and share them and tell your friends about these events because we're no longer bound by where you live. You can play this from anywhere in the world. So invite your family members and your friends to play online trivia, challenge them, see who does better or team up, make a Zoom call and you guys can participate as a team and just answer on one device. So lots of fun stuff to be had, even though we're going through crazy times, my friends. Thank you so much for the support. Again, however it comes, whatever fashion, online donations, tips, we appreciate any and all support. Uh, I'm not here alone tonight. Katniss is in the room. Gina's behind the keyboard. I get mentioned second. Well, you know, she was moving and <laughs> caught my eye. Uh, Taco's here. He's sleeping, but he's he's wily tonight. I think he's going to be loud. He's got stuff in his eye, and he's mad. He doesn't like when I try to clean it. Yep, nope. Got snipped. Okay. Snipped. Good night. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to jump up into the corner. We're going to get started here in just a second. So just a reminder, do make sure that you've joined the online game. I'll let you know one more time. Down in the corner, online.bagatricks.com. Enter in the code TRICKS2. TRICKS2. I'll give you a second to do that. So tonight we're playing for fun. There's no prizes on the line, but please be sure that you're being fair. Don't Google. Don't look these answers up. Um, and, and let me tell you this, we do have some new prizes in the pipeline, should be starting here either next week or the week after. Uh, so we have some great prizes coming up. So use tonight to practice, right? Take it serious, um, you know, but you still wanna have fun. Um, and we'll be able to see the rankings throughout the game if you haven't played before how it works. We have 30 different questions tonight. Some of them are multiple choice. Some of them you'll actually have to type your answer in all on your own. So we're going to start with the multiple choice questions. And this is how it works. I'm going to ask you the question you'll hear and you'll see it on YouTube, but you'll also see it on your device, whether that's your computer or your, or your phone. And that's where you're going to answer. You're not going to answer here on YouTube. Every question has a timer. It's a 25 second timer. So how it works, I'll read you the question and then I'll start the timer. For the multiple choice questions, once I start the timer, you'll see four options appear on your screen, A, B, C, and D. Each one is a different answer and only one of them is correct. All you have to do is click the correct answer and you earn points. Each multiple choice question is worth a maximum of 150 points, but that total goes down the longer it takes you to answer. So if you think you know the answer, don't hesitate. Click it, whether it's A, B, C, or D, the sooner you get that answer in, the more points you'll earn if it's correct. However, be careful. If you're wrong, you get nothing. And if you click an answer, you can't change it. So if you click A, A is your answer. If you click B, B is your answer, etc. So make sure you're answering quickly to earn points, but not so quickly that you're not paying attention to what you're actually hitting. Uh, if you're still wondering exactly how it's going to work, that's okay. The first question tonight is a practice question, which means it's not worth any points, but it looks and acts just like the rest of the questions that you'll face, so you're gonna learn how the system works before there's anything on the line. With all of that said, thank you guys again one more time so much for being here. Uh, thank you um, for the donations, and let's have some fun. Cheers, everybody. All right, question one, just a reminder, this is a practice question. It's not worth any points. Here we go. Question one, um, let me mention really quick, I know with the new format, some of the GIFs, some of the pictures are really small on the screen there, addressing that, the system, uh, the, the company that makes the system that we use, uh, as well as if you look on YouTube right now, um, and it might be happening depending on what system you're playing on, on my screen at least, the words are covering up the photo a little, they're addressing that, they know that, and they're gonna fix that formatting issue. Um, so thanks for, thanks for the feedback. This is only the second time we've used the new system that they just integrated for us to have pictures and gifts and all this fun stuff. Uh, so anyway, with all that said, what is the name of your host today? What is my name? That is your 
practice question. Is it Kevin, Meredith, Stanley, or Ali? What is my name? It's worth 150 points. Am I giving away one of those record crates? I am not, Bobby K, but I could give one to you. I will have to make another one, and then I can give one to you. Jen Cerno, we're too old for these small gifts. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's fine on mobile, but small on laptop. No, I feel you. Hey, John J. Hey, Jess and John, I imagine. Hey, Mert Orlin. Jeremy, welcome. Hey, Misha. Steph Curtis, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Bobby K is here. And Bobby Kate. So two Bobby K's in the room. Uh, hey, Kim. Laura LaRocca, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, everybody. Uh, Jess, Jess, Laura, Misha. Misha, how was the movie? Hey, Amy, welcome. Becky, our <laughs> shirt's acquired. Now I get it. It was Becky that said it. Amy wants to know if you make Philly and if it was good. You can answer that. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do make chili, and yes, but I do spill it often. Uh, I was actually just craving chili today because, you know, we had two days that were not 90 Yeah, not 90 degrees. degrees. All right, everybody's in. One person said Kevin. Three people each said Meredith and Stanley. 26 people correctly said Ali. Great job. If this was worth points, you would have earned points based on how quickly you answered if you put Ali. All right. Uh, make me a bicycle clown. Uh, everybody's in, everybody's in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. This question now starts counting for points. So keep it fair, keep it honest, and let's have fun. Number two, what is the name of the fictional dinosaur featured in the animated series Rugrats? What is the name of the fictional dinosaur on Rugrats? Is it Dino, Norbert, Yoshi, or Reptar? Yeah, I am Tommy Pickles. I say this every time I make work. <laughs> it reminds me of the little boy, uh, Jojo. Well, our future judge. I'm going home. I, I really need a cuddle. A cuddle. <laughs> you know what? It's good self-awareness to know when one needs a cuddle. Oh, I just got splashed all over. Could you grab me a paper towel, please? The danger of giant ice cubes. Here, check out Taco for a second. Thanks. Oh, you're still on the Taco Bell. I switched. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Bummer, I wanted to see that fashion video. That would have been cool. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> we're getting into this tonight. Uh, three people each said Dino and Norbert. That's some uh, Flintstones and Harry Potter. Yoshi, of course, from Super Mario. Yoshi's Island, or, or originally, I think. Uh, Reptar, though, the correct answer. Reptar, giant dinosaur. All right, question number three. Good job, 28 of you got that right. Uh, number three, which author created the character of James Bond? Which author wrote the series of books that gave us the character of James Bond? Was it Ian Fleming, Jean Le Carre, Robert Ludlum, or Tom Clancy? Oh, getting an itch. What's everybody drinking tonight? I haven't asked that question in like two months. True. What's everybody drinking? Whatever it is, water, tea, coffee, juice, alcohol. I just like hearing. Oh, I didn't go over the answer, did I? Sorry, everybody. Uh, the correct answer here was Ian Fleming. Ian Fleming, 32 of you got that right. Good job, all of these other guys. I'm sure famous authors, but they did not create James Bond. Ian Fleming. Number four. Uh, this one may be kind of tough. Which of the following four states does not feature a Six Flags theme park? So a lot of Six Flags theme parks out there now, more than six. Uh, but which state in the list of the four does not have a Six Flags theme park? Is it Maryland, Missouri, Michigan, or Massachusetts? Which state does not have a Six Flags? Coffee, water, summer shandy, Pinot Grigio. <laughs> Kevin Coke, water, boo. Do you crystal drinking? Cinnamon whiskey. Catch and fire. Juice? Cinnamon whiskey and apple juice. That sounds good. New Glarus Moon Man. I like Moon Man. Misha, you can work at Great Moon. 
little red wine to go with the pasta. That sounds good. A bohemian. What's a bohemian? Bobby K. I don't know the name. I'm googling it. Ooh, Saint Germain. Do it. Yeah. Uh, everybody's in this one I thought might be tough but you guys did very well 23 of you correctly said Michigan no uh, six flags in Michigan oh the beer. Bohemian beer oh got it but this cocktail I need it in my life right now gin grapefruit juice elderflower liqueur yeah oh you could do an egg white too number five in the 1993 film Rudy I know this gif is not from Rudy uh, but it is Sean Astin. Daniel Rutger dreamed of playing football at which university? Rudy wanted to play at what university? Was it the University of Alabama, Ohio State University, University of Notre Dame, or Michigan University? Southern Tier Variety Pack. Sounds delicious. Microphone Brewery. Hear nothing but great things. Remember, we had, the only thing I think I've ever had for microphone, are they the ones that did the Taking Back Sunday beer? Was that um, microphone? Everybody's in. You guys know you're Rudy. That is the University of Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Good job. All right, that's question five. So let's take a look at the standings for the first time. First, second, and third at the top of the screen. Everybody else rotating through. This isn't Seinfeld trivia is in first. Is that Bobby K? Allison Neal in second. Camp Anawana, we hold you in our hearts in third place. I'm going to go out and say that's Chris B., that's my Chris B guest for tonight. Um, okay, I'll call you Robert. Robert. Robert, yeah. But then what if your dad plays trivia? Well, cross that bridge. <laughs> I'm a lama 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 da ba da ding da bong. Thank you. <laughs> Camp on Awana. Oh, Becky, that's... Camp on Awana. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, my fire stick. I thought you were the Camp on Awana. Crispy. All right, question six. Still multiple choice. Which of the following four composers is from the bar Baroque? Shit, I even practiced this. Baroque era? Yeah. I almost said Baroque, just because I missed the man. Your birthday was yesterday. Yeah. Which composer is from the Baroque era of the following four? Is it Vivaldi, Beethoven, John Williams, or Mozart? If it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. Nice, Mert. Nice, Mert. Yes, Steph, same, same, same. the chat tonight you guys are great uh, 18 of you said Vivaldi 12 of you said Mozart three of you said John Williams that dude's still alive I believe unless something's changed uh, let's see yeah 88 years old uh, John Williams him and Hans Zimmer yeah wow. him and Hans Zimmer some of the best scores uh, I mean Star Wars John Williams right all right here we go correct answer was Vivaldi Vivaldi. Good job. 18 of you got that right. <sighs> Question number seven. Which of the following Michael Jackson releases is also the world's second best-selling album of all time? Which of these albums, all four were released by Michael Jackson, which of these is the second best-selling album of all time? Is it Thriller, Dangerous, Bad, or Off the Wall? <laughs> Clockwork <laughs> Orange Man <laughs> era. <laughs> Crystal, I like that. Hey, you're still intact. Oh. Uh, Misha got to see oh, John wow. Williams conduct at the CSO. That's awesome. That's very cool. Oh, yeah. the C I missed the CSO. We were there. Is that where we went and saw It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah, in 2016 yeah. was Western. Yeah. I would love to see the, one of the Harry movie Harry <laughs> Harry Potter movies live. There's a flying one. Uh, with the CSO. They do that. Well, they did that. Yeah, that's all right, everybody's in. 
I for the longest time I thought this was the greatest selling album of all time, but we just had a trivia question recently. Um, the, their hits uh, by the Eagles from 1971 to 1976 is the world's best selling album of all time, um, but this is a close second. It is Thriller. Thriller. Great job, everybody. Uh, all right. Jeez, I'm all over the place. Question number eight. This is tough. Uh, let me change because these do not match their answers right now. And I know you guys will tear me apart. Uh, that's pretty close. Uh, oh, shit. I don't have a color for that. Uh, what color was the Batmobile in its very first appearance? The first time Batman was ever in a Batmobile, what color was the Batmobile? Was it black, red, silver, or transparent? Jennifer Sterna, did you see me struggle when I realized one of the guesses or the, the options was transparent? <laughs> I was doing fine with black, red, and silver, and then I hit transparent. I didn't know what to do. I like these colors. Thank you. I can make the rest of everything match these colors. There we go. I just did it. Are these good, too? I have to kill that thing. Wow. I'll do it at the next rankings break. All right, everybody's in. This is a tough one. Um, it's not black. It's not silver. 15 of you thought that. And it wasn't transparent like Wonder Woman's plane or invisible, if you will. The correct answer is red. Uh, this is a collectible in the comic industry. The red Batmobile was the original color. Transparent, like, yeah, Crystal, yeah, good call, good call. Who knew transparent is teal? Yeah. Number nine. Uh, look at this gift. Which American boxer of the four listed below did not win a gold medal at the Summer Olympic Games? So three of the following individuals have won gold medals at the Summer Olympics. One has not. Who did not win a gold medal at the Summer Olympics? Is it George Foreman, Leon Spinks, Joe Frazier, or Floyd Mayweather? Pew, 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 pew. Sports. Leon Spinks. Uh, Chris, he's a professional boxer. Leon Spinks. Professional boxer. Uh, he competed from 1977 to 1995, if that helps. Wow, yeah, you guys had no idea here. You were across the board. Six people said George Foreman. Eleven people said Leon Spinks. Six people said Joe Frazier. Twelve people said Floyd Mayweather. The only one of these individuals who hasn't won a gold medal at the Summer Olympics is Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. He's made a shit ton of money boxing, but has not won a gold medal boxing uh, what was I gonna say I forgot who knows this answer yeah I don't know I don't know there are boxing fans out there 12 people knew it uh, Jess I was I was gonna send John a message as a joke just with all of the categories lined up and it was gonna be NFL trivia soccer trivia boxing trivia but I didn't even have time for that joke now I'm sad Number 10, sports. Simone Biles competes in which Olympic sport? We have another Olympics question. Simone Biles competes in which Olympic sport? Is it track and field, swimming, gymnastics, or beach volleyball? How many of them multiple children named George? I think George, George Foreman. Thank you, Laura, for the donation. Thank you so much. Okay, I, I have to tell you something after this. Uh, the correct answer, this is a huge social. Um, only one person clicked the wrong thing, and I'm just going to say that was an accident. She is a gymnast, gymnastics. Great job. So cheers, everybody. That's even a double social. Let me just see her in. I don't remember. She was acting in it, though. Yeah. Um, somebody said this. Becky mentioned, or somebody mentioned, um, all of his kids having 
the name of George. So George Foreman has 12 children. Wow. 12 children. He has five sons and seven daughters. And his sons are named George Jr., George the Third, George the Fourth, George the Fifth, and George the Sixth. They go by Monk, Big Wheel, Red, and Little Joey. Um, his daughters, for the most part, have more unique names, but he does have one Georgetta. One Georgetta. Uh, now we know. Now we know. You also go by Little Joey. <laughs> Number 11, final multiple choice question. The song, Luck Be a Lady. Hey, here's a gift for Chris B. The song Luck Be a Lady is featured in which popular 1950s musical? Is it Guys and Dolls, Hello Dolly, My Fair Lady, or Miss Saigon? Luck Be a Lady featured in which of these musicals? Luck be a lady tonight. Are there more words than luck be a lady? Luck be a lady. I should watch this. All right, everybody's in. And I think as luck would have it on the question with the gift dedicated to what Chris is drinking, we have a Chris B social. The correct answer is guys and dolls. 69% of you got it right. 25 people said guys and dolls. Great job. Cheers, everybody. That's the final multiple choice question too. Let's take a look at the standings one more time and then we're gonna switch up the questions here. I'll tell you how that works in just a second. Currently in first place, Eat Lightning Crap Thunder. In second, Bree and Jeremy. In third, this isn't Seinfeld trivia. Did we determine if that's Robert? Uh, everybody else is rotating through. Take a look, see where you're at. Taco, did you get the fly? It is Robert. I love it. I just hit the glasses off my own face. Trying to kill the fly. It's like a sitcom. It's like a sitcom episode. All right. All right, so things are gonna change here in just a second. The next round and from this point on are no longer multiple choice questions. From this point on, when I start the timer, which will still be a 25 second timer, you're gonna have to type the answer in all on your own. So nothing to choose from. You have to come up with the answer all on your own. But because of that, I've raised the value of the questions. The next 10 questions are worth 250 points. And then the last round, the final 10 questions we have will be worth 300 points apiece. The next five questions are part of what we call a mini bonus round, which means, what are you doing? Stop licking the desk. <laughs> the next five Probably questions. some whiskey up there. Yeah, Taco's yeah, getting drunk. Like a freak. Oh, it's an interesting, it's definitely a hump day. It's a Wednesday. Um, the next five questions all come from the same category. Uh, they're each worth 250 points though. They all come from the same category. I'll ask you one question at a time. And as I mentioned, 250 points if you're correct. The main difference now is that you're not gonna lose points if it takes you a couple seconds to answer. So take your time, think about your answer, type it in, hit submit before the timer runs out, but don't cheat, don't Google anything, don't look these answers up. If you're correct, you earn all the points. If you're wrong, you earn none of the points, but you're not losing points based on how long it takes you to answer. Try your best to spell the answers correctly. That helps me out, but if you spell it incorrectly, I will see it and I'll fix it for you. Here we go. The next five questions we are talking, I'm sorry, uh, Bobby Kate. We are talking about famous US landmarks. How that's going to work, I'm going to tell you a famous US landmark. You just have to tell me what state you could visit that landmark in. It's that simple. So you have a one in 50 shot, even if you're not sure. Take a guess, type one of the 50 nifty United States 
Uh, and you know, you might surprise yourself. So here we go. Some of these easy, some of these tough, worth 250 points apiece. Name the state that you could uh -huh. visit this US landmark, the Wright Brothers Memorial. The uh -huh. Wright Brothers Memorial. What state could you visit? The Wright Brothers Memorial. Stop looking at me, Swan. Or Doyle rules right off the cliff. Oh, I'm missing such a good chat tonight. It cracks you up that you went, he went with Georgetta and not Georgia. Yep, yep. Look, feel, lady. It is Bobby K. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sorry, Bobby K. I'll do uh, not Thursday. Next week, I'll do a very um, Canadian skewed round. So something that'll be easier to answer I if you live in Canada. I promise you that. Next week, that round, just for you and Christiane, if she's there, and our other Canadian friends. But specifically, you're here tonight dealing with this. Uh, everybody's in. The correct answer here. Are points supposed to be decreasing? Nope, but they were for this question because I'm dumb. Oh. Well, now you know. Thanks. Was that Lindsay? No. I don't think Lindsay's here, right? Oh, no. I haven't seen her, right? Or Jeff? <laughs> Didn't get this question right with a W. The correct answer is North Carolina. I apologize. That question did have the points decreasing, but they won't be going forward. Uh, number 13, in what U.S. state could you visit, visit Mount Rushmore? In what state could you visit Mount Rushmore? We have been to the Kitty Hawk Museum. Crystal, I would love to visit that museum. Visiting Jeremy's going there in a month. Nice. Chris just visited. We will do a road trip within the next week. Yeah, once we can travel more, we'll do like a bag of tricks road trip. We'll go across and visit people across the land. Yeah. We can do we can host trivia from different places online. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. From Canada and Florida. Just don't judge you if you're right. Yeah, no judgment here, Bobby K. <laughs> Bobby Kate. Come to the beach. Yes, Kevin, we will. Uh, everybody's in. A couple of misspellings, but you still get points here. It's not North Dakota. It is South Dakota. South Dakota. Good job. Number 14, in what U.S. state could you visit the Great Smoky Mountains? In what U.S. state? Could you visit the landmark, the U.S. landmark, the Great Smoky Mountains? Denise lives in North Carolina. Denise, thanks for being here. Aww, That's awesome to hear. Hi. Thanks for playing trivia all the way from North Carolina. I have a friend who lives in, how do you say it, Raleigh? 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 Say eight more times. Raleigh. Yeah, I agree with Amy. Amy, we will be hosting trivia from Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. Don't you worry. Yeah, Milwaukee was the last, last place, place we, we, went. we went. We traveled before the shutdown. Uh, Everybody's in. Yeah, it's I not Utah, West, West, Virginia, West Virginia, Colorado, Pennsylvania. It is Tennessee. 71% of you got this right. That's a social cheers, everybody. Number 15, name the state you could visit. I probably should have started with this one. The Space Needle. In what US state would you find the Space Needle? Ooh, a couple of you giving me cities. Looking for the state. I'll probably just take the city tonight though. No big prize on the line. Sarah, uh, this is such an overrated landmark. Was it Parks and Rec where they drove all the way there and then it was cloudy and they couldn't see it? And that might have been something else. They drove to the Grand Canyon. Uh, but there's I've another never show. Been to the Space Needle, yeah, no, I'm thinking of the uh, the Mount Rushmore. Sorry, I'm back in the oh, chat. Oh, oh, also never been there. Yeah, you drive all the way to Mount Rushmore and then it's cloudy and you can't see Kinda it. Kind of like the Mona Lisa, how it's 
itty bitty and you can't even yeah. get to it yeah. for so many people. Where's the faces of the presidents? Uh, everybody's in. This is, um, we're not playing for prize tonight, so I'm not going to be super strict. If you put Seattle, I know that you know that's in Washington. Uh, the correct answer here is Washington. Good job. All right, we have one more of these, and then we're getting to a picture round. Number 16, name the state that you could visit this U.S. landmark. Now I wish I would have done Yosemite. Yellowstone no. National Park. Yosemite. Yellowstone National Park is in what state? You heard that, right? Yosemite? I think I heard it. Oh, I didn't. It was cheesy and you loved it. They used to, Jess, they used to have a rotating um, restaurant at the top of the Space Needle, but I think it's since closed. Um, Space Needle Restaurant. Yeah, Sky City Restaurant closed in 2017. Uh, but yeah, you, used to, you eat at the top of the Space Needle and it rotated. Did you go there? Did you eat there? Oh yeah, I see. I see what you said. Yeah, technically it is in three states. You're right. I think I did mean to do a different park, uh, but yeah, if you gave me I, any three of the states, you're gonna be fine. Uh, Jeopardy, you're such a jerk. Yeah, how could you, honestly? All right, everybody's in. I'm just marking some of these. Correct answer, uh, as Jen Cerna pointed out, thank you, no sarcasm there. Uh, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, any three of those, you could visit Yellowstone National Park. The majority of it, I believe, is in Wyoming, um, but it is technically in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. So good job, everybody, you made it through this round. <coughs> Let's take a look at the standings. Let's see where everybody's at. Oops, sorry. That's probably loud for a second. Uh, currently still in first place, Robert in second. You got it, Jobin. That's a... Uh, uh, I love you, man. Yeah, the Holy Trinity. Uh, may I see your manager in third place? What up, Tommy? Everybody else rotating through. Take a look. See where you're at. You got it, Jobin. We should watch that again. Not a single one right. Bobby, that's okay. That's okay. Misha, fourth place. What's up? Uh, Tennessee, Robert. Smoky Mountain was Tennessee. All right. Next round is a picture round. There are five questions. But rather than asking you a question, I'm going to show you a picture and you have to identify something from it. They're all from the same category. We've done this category before, but not with these specific questions, these specific individuals. Tonight, I'm going to show you, and I already wrote this before uh, John gave me his categories and I wish I would have waited because this would have been a fun one for tomorrow, but we're gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna show you a picture of a famous fictional cat, a famous fictional feline you just have to tell me the name of that cat, the name of the feline, not the, the show or the book or the movie or whatever, just the name of the cat that you're looking at. Some of these are very easy, but some of these are pretty tough. They're each worth 250 points. Those points do not decrease. I've made sure of that now. So here we go. Number 17, name this famous fictional cat. Oh. To Bob Kelly. 
All right, everybody's in. Pretty much all of you got this. You just spelled it differently. The cat from a book about the downfall of mathematics. The correct answer is the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. The Cheshire cat. As long as you wrote okay. Cheshire, you're fine. Uh, it, it just added all these other words because I, I marked it right. Cheshire cat. Number 18. Name this famous fictional cat. Bobby K. Robert, I got you. Name this famous fictional cat. If that cat were on drugs, it would be all of them, Allison. All of the drugs. Uh, I would say opium. Uh, yeah, true. Isn't that what the caterpillar is talking about? What's it? Wasn't the caterpillar also known? Yeah, yes, he was. Yeah, yeah, oh. there is, and they're both acceptable for this one. I've already prepared for that. So if you wrote either of the correct answers, you're going to get points. So originally, originally, this is Snowball, uh, but then Snowball died, and they, it was replaced by Snowball the Second or Snowball Two. Um, they they look the same. So Snowball. Is, is what it's going to show here. But if you put Snowball 2, Snowball the second, Snowball uh, Roman numeral II, that's fine. You got points here. All right, number 19. Name this famous fictional cat in the news today. What is the name of this fictional cat? Snowball 2, the new cat. Yes, Crystal. I always forget that he is a cat. Yeah, yeah. He's just like a little... Yeah. <laughs> we had a cat named Snowball. She died. She died. Whoa, Jim Sterna's on here under his own account. No. Don't worry, I'll talk to Jim's wife Sterna after trivia. Yeah, Jim. Get her back into the two out of three category. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love you both. Yeah, most of you you could guess and you have a one and two shot. Uh, yes, according to <laughs> the cartoon makers, uh, this is Stimpy, and Stimpy is a cat. Ren is a dog. Stimpy is a cat. Stimpy the cat. I mean, look at his pointy ears and his flatulence. Obviously, he's a cat. I don't know. I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, David, like, you know this cat's name is Stimpson J. Cat. Stimpson J. Cat. Thank you, Dave. Stimson J. Cat. That's crazy, you know. Uh, number 20, name this famous fictional cat. So obviously there's a cat and a fish in this picture. I'm asking you about the cat. What is the name of the cat? Oh, you. Uh, Matt Whale. Yeah, the personalities of cat and dog are absolutely reversed. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's a chihuahua. Oh, true. He is a chihuahua. Wow. How, who would have thought we could have so much conversation on Ren and Stimpy? He is oh. a chihuahua, so yes. Hello, Jen's husband, Sterna. I just love that he said Jim's wife, Sterna. That's amazing. You guys yeah. are great. Oh. All right, everybody's in. Correct answer here. Uh, that's close. Yep. Somebody said Katniss. No. Aww. Yeah, she's on so my lap right now. Nobody guessed the, the the fish's name, which is which is interesting. Usually somebody yeah. would. Yeah, so the cat is Figaro. This is uh, Geppetto's cat in Pinocchio, which I just found out they're doing a live action version of. No, no. Yeah. Not into it. Yeah. Um, and they said, no. let me see. I just saw this today. Oh, maybe this will help. It's uh, Robert Zemeckis. 
And Tom Hanks is in to play Geppetto. It's going to be creepy. Yeah, it will. Who's going to be the... Yeah, it, it'll be... It's uh, Pinocchio CGI. Well, I imagine... I'm imagining... Um, what's the guy's name who plays Spider-Man? Tom... Uh, Holland? Holland. Yeah, can you imagine him like in CGI? And then he's like, well, I'm a real boy. And then he starts dancing. I'd be here for it. Yeah, I'd watch that. I'd watch that. Uh, remind me to post that lip syncing video of Tom Holland in the community later. But anyway, final cat. Name this fictional cat. This is the toughest one of the bunch. What is the name of this famous fictional cat? Tom Hardy. <laughs> Could you imagine Tom Hardy as Pinocchio? <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. Oh. Amy, yeah, if I said I read the article, I lied. I just saw the headline. I just saw the headline. All right, everybody's in. Nobody, oh, a couple of people spelled it right. A lot of you know this is Gargamel's cat, but do you know its name? Some of you do. This is Azrael. Azrael. Uh, the cat from the Smurfs. I would not have known. Gargamel's cat. Three of you got th Four of you got it. This was the toughest one. I said it was going to be tough. Uh, this was the toughest one. Somebody said, scary ass cat going to kill me through my phone screen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the standings. Let's see where everybody's at before we move on to anything else. All right, you got it, Jobin, still in first. Morbida Destiny in second. The Angelicas, Eliza, and Peggy in third place right now. Uh, uh, Becky's up into second place thanks to Dave's cartoon cat knowledge. Who would have thought that would come in, Andy? Cats don't wear shirts. Are we saying leather? Yeah, cats don't wear shirts, Gina said. That's why Dave connects with them. Uh, Allison, I think I did Felix the cat last time we did this round. Um, I think I already did Felix. Yeah, I like it because Felix the cat looks a lot like the the Bag of Tricks logo. Yes, very much. Yeah. Remember when I randomly stumbled across that pink cat that had those looks? Oh, that looked just, just like, like it. Logo. Yeah. All right, everybody. So here's how it works. We have ten questions left. We'll do five at a time, um, pretty much. But these are worth. 300 points a piece and this is a super close game you got it Jobin is in first place by only about a hundred and ninety how's that work 96 points uh something like that uh i had a second place and third place is only about 100 points behind 107 points behind second and these are worth 300 points a piece so give it your best shot no points off if you're wrong take a guess even if you're not sure we're gonna do these one at a time Yay, math. Yeah, I don't know why I try with whiskey. Here we go. Number 22. What brand of rum is named for a prominent American tattoo artist famous for his tattooing of sailors in Hawaii? What brand of rum is named for a prominent American tattoo artist famous for his tattooing of sailors in Hawaii? I just learned about the chicken and the pig. Did you know about this? Do I want to? No, 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 it's nice. Oh. So sailors would get tattoos of chickens and pigs, one on each foot, mm -hmm. uh, as tradition because chickens and pigs, if a boat was to go down, they're the most buoyant, so they would always float. So it was just tradition that they would get one of each. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and, oh, this is how it all connected. In Moana, she had a chicken and a pig. Ah, yes, she did. Yeah, Pua oh, and, and what was the chicken's name? Alan Tudyk. <laughs> 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 
What was the name of the chicken in well, Moana? Somebody will tell me. Hey, biggest, hey, thank you. The biggest, I love Moana. My only complaint is more Pua. Like, he should have been on the boat. I needed him the whole movie. Yeah, more pig, yeah. Uh, everybody's in. This was Sailor Jerry. Sailor Jerry. I'll give it to you all. Usually, like, half of the people that, that get this question say Captain Morgan just because they hear rum and sailor. Uh, so, good job. Sailor Jerry. Uh, not Certainly not as popular, but, it, you know, it's good. Number 23. 1-800-CRIME-TV was the tip line phone number for what U.S. <laughs> TV show from 1988 to 2011. That was a long run. Yeah. Not like the point of the show has gone away. (laughs) (laughs) 1-800-CRIME-TV was the tip line phone number for which U.S. TV show that ran from 1988 to 2011. Chris, I appreciate Janessa knowing either rum or tattoos because I did not know this. Yeah, good job, Janessa. Kevin Cokes loves Sailor Jerry. So do I, Kevin. We'll have to drink some Sailor Jerry on the beach. You do? I didn't know that. I do. I mean, it's not like my... But if I buy rum, I would prefer Sailor Jerry. I like it. Good to know. Yeah. I mean, currently, I just like Costco rum. <laughs> That's my favorite rum. Yeah, I know. Aw, Amy, I love that. For the Disney cruise. Everybody's in. Lots of answers here. Uh, this is not cops. It's not unsolved mysteries. That just uh, came back on Netflix. I haven't watched it. You don't watch it, right? I don't like. Can I just talk for a second? I don't like unsolved mysteries because I like, I like the solved mysteries. Yeah. You I like want. That I want it to finish up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. I like documentaries about shit it's that happened, idea. and the last episode puts it all together. I don't want unsolved mysteries, but I'm I'm here for y'all that love it. Uh, the correct answer is America's Most Wanted. Uh, there are certainly still people out there on this list, but that show is not on the air anymore. Number 24. Along with the other... I did this gift for you. Along with the other allied leaders, which U.S. president signed the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, ending World War I? Which president of the United States signed the Treaty of Versailles, ending World War I? To be fair, they say what it what it says on the tin. What are you talking about, Jess? Lots of guesses. Lots of guesses. Only one president's correct here, and most of you got it. Over uh, just about half of you correctly said Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson signed that Treaty of Versailles in 1919. Ending World War One. All right, we'll do twenty-five, and then we'll look at the standings. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I get what she means. Then. Oh, yeah, Jess, that's fair. Uh, I love this question. Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves will return in the third Bill and Ted film called Bill and Ted Face the Music in early September. It's going to be launched video on demand and in theaters wherever theaters are open. What is the name of the duo's fictional rock band in the films? What is the name of Bill and Ted's band? in the Bill and Ted films. Uh, they tell you they're up front, they're unsolved. Yeah, that's why I don't watch it, Jess. I'm with you. I'm with you. What's a long? Oh, yeah. Uh, Chris, if I could give bonus points, I'd give it to you if you spelled it correctly. There, it was hard to find a gift that didn't have their, their band name on the wall behind them graffitied. Uh, the, whoa, what happened? Uh, the correct answer here is not Hanson. I wish it was. Bob Jovi, the new batch. People c- can put things together. I love it. Uh, not Way No Way. <laughs> That's the Friends reference, right? Way No Way. That was Chandler and Ross's band. Uh, this was Wild Stallions. Wild Stallions. Good job. A lot of you still got this. 
Wild Scallions. That's a good name for the house band on like a cooking talk show. Yeah, ah, yeah. And before yeah, my I next guest, it. let's kick it over to Wild Scallions. Like Hell yeah, I love that. All right, uh, that's twenty five. So let's look at the standings. Morbid of Destiny up into first. Emily in second. You got it, Jobin in third. Everybody else rotating through. Uh, wild stallions. Was there two points? Chris, you got you got points. It, it may not show you on your screen, but you got it. Um, I'll show you. If you spelled it like this, you got points. Just so you can see. I don't want you to think I'm lying to anybody. The only people that didn't get points were these answers. Get over here. There we go. All right. Just a couple questions left. Let's see how this goes. Number 26. Pertussis. Pertussis is a highly contagious respiratory disease, better known by what name? Pertussis. A highly contagious respiratory disease, better known by what name? Misha, are, do they sound good? Does the garage band sound good? That's so cute. I love that. I love, I love hearing, I mean, I would feel different if it was like our next door neighbor and they had a garage yeah, band and they played every day. Yeah, if they wanted a band, we would support it. Yeah, our kids will definitely have a band. <laughs> no pressure. I mean, as long as it's not late at night, you know. Yeah. Fine. Never knew Googling my symptoms compulsively would pay off in trivia. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Everybody's in. Correct answer here. A lot of you spelled it wrong. That's okay. Uh, it is, was a crispy social for a second. A whooping cough. Pertussis is whooping cough. All right. Number 27. Some more Olympics. Which U.S. Olympic figure skater did Margot Robbie portray in a 2017 film which u.s yeah. olympic figure skater did margot robbie portray in a 2017 film what'd you say oh, oh god yeah. she's so great wolf of wall street mm -hmm. remember the, what did we just see the harley quinn film birds of prey that was so much yeah, fun it was so fun yeah that was that might be the last movie we saw in theaters right oh maybe yeah jess i thought you liked the olympics i don't know more sports. But this one's famous out of sports. Becky's gone down to Treaty of Versailles Google search. Yes. Oh, Jess is doing a Nancy Kerrigan impression. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Oh, I feel horrible doing that, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, everybody. What was the guy's name? Uh, Joe Galuli. Oh. Galuli. That sounds right. Yeah, she was not Nancy Kerrigan. Nancy Kerrigan uh, was the person who got smacked on the knee. Uh, the correct answer is she portrayed Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. Harley Quinn skates? Yeah, probably. All right. Good job, Tanya Harding. 82% of you got that right. Cheers, everybody. Number 28, I'm just looking for the name of the company. What company is the leading producer of American football, basketball, ice hockey, soccer, and other themed trading cards, as well as the only trading card company with a contract with Major League Baseball? So if you have a baseball card in your possession, it was made by this company. What company is the leading producer of American football, base, uh, basketball, ice hockey, soccer, and other themed trading cards, and the only trading card company the contract with Major League Baseball. I am so sorry, Jess and John, this is another sports question, but it's also about trading cards. We won't have any tomorrow. Yeah, there are no sports questions tomorrow on John's birthday. What a better way to celebrate his birthday than no sports questions. 
Chris, they made a Fauci card for throwing out the first pitch? I didn't know that. I like that. A little loud. A little Thank you. Uh, it's not Harbro. It's not Nesquik. That sounds delicious, though. Uh, this is close. The correct answer is technically spelled with two P's, but if you just put one, that's okay. Tops. Tops trading cards. Remember the bubble gum? Like you would open a pack. A sheet of yeah, gum. a sheet yeah. of bubble gum, and it would just disintegrate. Number 29. Uh, what human gland, I'm talking about the human body, what gland is found at the base of the brain and is known as the master gland of the endocrine system? What human gland is known as the master gland of the endocrine system? This is uh, what my brain looks like every night when I say, all right, it's time for bed. It's time to go to sleep. I'm feeling really tired. And then he's like, fuck yep, no. And then he's like. And then, yeah. Oh. Jen, yes, yes. The memes when Fauci threw that first pitch and it just went like 20 feet left of the catcher. Yeah, he doesn't want anyone to catch anything. Yes. Good thing the catcher was wearing a mask. Good thing the catcher was wearing a mask. Did you just say that? That was great. Nice joke, babe. All right, everybody's in. A couple of you spelled it interestingly, but you're getting points. Don't you worry. Pat paturity. This one. This one here looks like when what somebody. Did you call it? No, no. Look, it's like when somebody like spits on the street in an, old, in an old timey movie. Paturity. Paturity. Uh, the correct answer is the pituitary. Oh, you're smart. Yeah, the pituitary gland. All right, two questions left. Number 30. What film holds the record for the highest grossing R-rated film in the United States? What R-rated film took in the most money at the box office in the United States? This has changed a few times, actually, in the last few years. Yeah, I'm loving this question. You guys all gave me great answers. All right, everybody's in. Uh, a lot of people said Deadpool. Eight people, Godfather, two people, Exorcist, Scarface. Okay, so for the longest time, it was The Passion of the Christ. Uh, Passion of the Christ was technically rated R uh, due to the graphic scenes, uh, and it was the highest. Due to the, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know. Uh, the highest grossing R rated film for a long time. And then Deadpool took over when it launched, the original Deadpool. And then. Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, Whoa. just last year, the highest grossing. Only one person got that. One person. Uh, and I double and triple check this because for the longest time I had it wrong. But the Joker, Joker is the correct answer here. Good job, one person. Reverse social, somebody called it. Yes, cheers. How's that feel? Whoever got that. <laughs> yeah, well done. Yeah, good job. Whoever got it. Oh, it was Chris. Good job, Chris. I believe it. All right. Uh, I've definitely, and I, hats off to Chris, because the last time I asked this question, because I've done this question before, it was not Joker. I've asked this question in the bars. Uh, and the last time I asked it, it was Deadpool. Um, so good job, Chris. Uh, number 31, final question. I don't remember what it is. Let's see. Uh, okay, this one a little tough, a little tough. It's commonly believed that the month of January, as we now refer to it, is named after which Roman god who could look both back to the past and ahead to the future? Looking for the name of a Roman god who could look back to the past and ahead to the future. Jeremy, at least nobody's Googling. Yes, silver lining. Dave would like to know if this question was, yes, yes, Becky, I do believe this question was adjusted for inflation. 
The last time I checked, it was uh, adjusted for inflation. Yeah, adjusted for inflation, Passion of the Christ has 543 million, uh, but the Joker was 788 million, so still higher. Uh, half of you got this right. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. It's, it's simpler than that. Uh, the correct answer is Janus. Janus. Uh, that's okay most of them were named nine of them were named after planets uh janice somebody said marty mcfly yeah he could technically look into the past and into the future good call good call uh taco good guess Januaris. uh janice Januaris. let's see where they called the same yeah no it was just janice all right here we go Final standings coming up. If you are in first place, congratulations, you won tonight. You. No prizes on the line, but you get to sleep well knowing that you finished first in Bigatrix Online Trivia. Thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. Thank you so much uh, for the support. Those of you that donated, uh, Denise, thank you for the donation. Laura, thank you so much for the donation. Thanks for putting up with my rambling bullshit. Uh, as I've said since March 16th, if you want to play trivia and you just want to get 30 questions in and out really quickly, go do it somewhere else. We, we like to have fun. Wow. Uh, and we appreciate you guys ha being here and, and chatting. You know, that's what we're about. We're about being a community and having some fun, guys. So thank you so much for hanging out and uh, appreciating Taco and, and Gina and Katniss and Penelope. Uh, <laughs> Gina and Katniss and Penelope and Taco. All right, here we go. Final standings. Uh, let's find out together who is in first place. Uh, before I do, sorry. Don't forget, tomorrow at 7 o'clock is Marvel and DC Trivia. And you don't even have to deal with my ramblings. It will be hosted by the incredible Phoebe. If you haven't played Trivia with Phoebe, don't miss tomorrow. It's going to be so much fun. It's sponsored by the Mount Prospect Library. So some fun stuff there. Uh, and then at 9 o'clock, in honor of our donation drawing winner and birthday boy john we have general knowledge trivia featuring his categories so don't miss that 20th century literature authors animal crossing cats geography hamilton indie rock schitt's creek the simpsons space and whiskey uh, we will make some cocktails you know what maybe i'll open a nice bottle of whiskey <gasps> or one uh, we have yes uh, and so maybe i'll open a nice bottle of beer some bourbon county uh tomorrow uh, but, and then Friday, so I'm just mentioning it now, if you haven't purchased your ticket, do it sooner rather than later for our trivia on Friday night sponsored or in support of DuPage Pads organization. All right, with all of that said, here we go. Drum roll. Blah, 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 blah. In first place. You got it, Jobin, by 40, no, not even, 39 wow. points. 49 points is probably more correct. 40 six points jeez i've had a lot of whiskey 46 points over second place morbid of destiny still up there emily in third everybody else right there congratulations becky 46 thank you <laughs> for correcting that uh great job everybody good job good job thank you so much for being here thank you for all the support thank you for the donations thank you for liking and sharing and commenting and allison thank you for that review on the Begatrix facebook page um, if you can hear me still, if you haven't left, if you have not left a review on the Bag of Tricks Entertainment Facebook page or on our Google business page, please do. Um, that helps us more than you'll ever know. It helps us reach more people. Uh, and when people check us out, they see your reviews and, and that weighs a lot. So if, if you have fun with us and you enjoy Bag of Tricks Entertainment, please leave us a nice review. Let everybody else know how much you like it. So thank you guys so much. Bye-bye, our Canadian friends, our American friends. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Be safe, take care of each other, wash your hands, wear your damn masks. Bye.